In Vibe, Cindy Lauper and Jeff Goldblum are characters with psychic powers. They are led on a search for a mysterious treasure in the mountains of Ecuador by Peter Falk's character. And, of course, there are bad guys. Ah, a silencer in a hospital. Very thoughtful. Tell me what you know, Nick. Right, right. What are you going to do, kill us? There's a nurse right there. She's a witness. This is the first time on the big screen for Lauper, and like the star herself, her character is a bit offbeat. It's rough, you know, sometimes I get up and I'm going to put my clothes on, but no, I'm going to wear Sylvia's clothes, and then on my day off, I'm going to put Sylvia's clothes on, but no, I put my clothes on. It gets a little uh, confusing, but it's uh, settling in uh, a very normal way, uh, you know, with the process. Goldblum, of course, has had many roles on the big screen, but this is the first time he's had the privilege of shooting in the mountains of Ecuador. We were really in Ecuador, really kind of uh, uh, experience every, experiencing everything for the first time, and it was there was real altitude, and it was uh, we were really above the clouds, and it was really beautiful and really kind of um, mystical. Peter Falk, too, is a veteran of many films, but in Vibes, his character is quite a departure from the honest detective Colombo. His capacity for telling lies is something that I admire very, very much. He's very, very fertile. And he knows no embarrassment. Will this peculiar trio find the treasure? The answer to that can only be found at the theater. For its mayor, CNN, New York. Now we go.